All right, so so far two characters have died. Chuck and girl whose name I don't remember. So much for the armory. What's left of it? A few rounds. That's it. You didn't That's better than that nothing. Don't be ungrateful. I could. The lock was busted. Great. Just fucking great. Come on. There's got to be a way out down here. <laughs> oh, shit. I like the shock look in that walker's face. It's not going to hold. Back upstairs. Ah, oh, Jesus. Someone else is going to die. Lee, look. Oh, shit. Hang on. Sorry, my TV did that really annoying thing again where it just randomly turns itself on. It really pisses me off. It really does. Anyways, let's get back into the tense moment. Sorry about that. Okay. Use the left stick to get away. Alright, hang on. <laughs> I like this. Nothing says zombie outbreak like using a shotgun in my opinion. Alright, that's another one down. Jesus, they just keep on coming. Oh, wouldn't have happened if I wasn't so fat. Ah, oh, shit, shit, gotta pull myself out, gotta pull myself out. Am I in immediate danger? I'm in immediate danger! I am in immediate danger! Ah, oh, oh, nasty. I swear, the zombies... Select your leg to free it, look up to fight off walkers. I was trying to do that, I just got distracted, that's all. Try this up. Nothing. Shit. Shit. There we go. Ah, fuck it. Up. Fuck it up. Fuck it up. All right, just gotta pull my leg loose again. Oh, gotta shoot the zombie. Gotta shoot the zombie. Shit. Fucked it up. Fucked it. Oh, you're kidding me. Yeah, look at that guy. He didn't even go for the flesh, really. He just sort of dug around. He's looking for something in particular, you know? Kidney, heart. No, no, not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for an appendix. Clearly, he had an appendectomy at some point in his life. Shit, I have to stop messing up with my shots. That's what I need to start doing. Oh, Jesus, I almost shot my foot off. Oh, it's freezing on me. Oh, I'm free. Huh. I'll take it. Someone, I've got a guardian angel with a sniper rifle. Oh, right, no, this is her. Okay. <laughs> oh, executed. Hello. You can sit down. Off you get. And a great big fuck you for you as well. Oh, clear oh. house. Look at Lee go. Oh. Hey, oh, my shotgun. My shotgun. Oh, that was badass. Come on. That is how you does it. It's all right. Clint. Yes, that's big embrace, but we're in a lot of trouble right now. Any way out of here? This leads to the roof. We might be able to find a way down from there. You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? Yeah. Why? Never mind. I can see the sewer where we came in from here. I think we can do this. Well, what are we waiting for? Go, go! Oh shit, the horde that followed us probably made its way here as well. Come on, let's go! Ben, get moving. Oh, Jesus! What in the hell? I gotcha. Oh shit, Ben. Hold on, Ben. I've got you. Oh shit. Come on, we can pull him up. We can pull him. Climb up. Come on, you can do it. There's no time. You have to go now. Quit fucking around, Ben. Come on. Let go, damn it. Get Clem and the others out of here. We. Ah, oh, shit, it's gonna have to be done. We, we both know. Let me go. 
Oh, damn it, Ben. Come on. You can redeem yourself. Pull him off. No way in hell I was just going to leave him behind. Go, go, go. I'm not going to turn into one of the Crawford people. I refuse to. I'm not just going to kill him because he was an absolute idiot. He pisses me off, sure, but I'd rather have him alive and pissing me off than have him dead. You know? I don't know, I'm just burdened with a conscience. Also, sorry to all the people watching this who don't like Ben and wanted to see him die. I apologize for uh, depriving you of that. But uh, it had to be done. Krista? Everything okay? Oh, me! Stay away from him. Krista, don't! Stay back! I never should have left you. I'm so sorry. Krista, get away from him! Mm -mm. Uh. <laughs> hey. Back already? <laughs> we got you medicine. Good. Feel like I could use some. I like Omid in his general style. You okay, kid? You look worse than I do. We almost didn't make it out of there because of this asshole. Should have left him behind, but we had the chance. Guys, what the hell happened out there? Let someone else tell you. I got work to do. Okay, with a little luck, you should start feeling better pretty soon. I'll stay here for a few more hours to check on him. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Doc. Yes, thank you so much. Maybe now's a good time for you and me to have a little talk in private. Please don't come on to me. I'm sorry about Bree. Listen, man. About what happened to Bree. Don't beat yourself up over it. There was nothing you could have done. You want to know the worst part? What? I don't feel much. I mean, I don't feel enough. Shouldn't I be broken up over what happened to her? That's how I was when I lost my daughter. When I lost my friends in those first few weeks. But now, it's like I just take something like this in stride. Like this is what our world is now, and we'd better just get used to it. What did you want to talk to me about? I know you care about Clementine. Anyone can see that. And I know you want what's best for her. But this plan of yours... Putting everyone on a boat with no destination. Do you really think that's her best chance of finding somewhere where she can be safe? Because I don't. So I want to make you an offer. What kind of an offer? I'll take her off your hands. Take her back with me, to my people. We're well supplied, well hidden, and a lot of us have had kids of our own. And now Crawford's fallen, we got nothing left to fear from them. She'll be safe with us. Safer than she will be if she stays with you. I promise you. That's what no, you not gonna for, happen. Isn't it? Be safe? You're coming at me with a lot here, Vernon. I need to think it over. Of course. Take your time. But I want you to think about some things. Well, there's You're nothing to think man, about. Lee. You've been protecting these people as best you can so far. And they look up to you. Rightly so. But it's different with a child. You might have brought her this far, but sooner or later she might ask you for more than you can give her. I'm sorry if that's hard to hear, but it's the truth. I appreciate it, Vernon. Let me think about it, okay? You do that. Well, the answer is no. I'm not giving Clem up to anybody. At all. Granted, probably I shouldn't really... I sort of just claimed her as my, as my own. She's not my child or anything. I just sort of... Sorry, I adopted her, but... <laughs> I think that guy might have been her dad. Hey. The shadow. Going somewhere? Yeah, I'm about to head out. I, I just wanted to say thanks. For everything. It's been fun. You should come with us, so that's it then. What are you talking about? Kenny's working on the boat right now. Thought you were coming with us. God knows you earned it. Yeah, I've been thinking it over. It's not for me. 
Sounds like it'd be pretty crowded, and I never did like the water. Uh oh, we're glitching. You sure about this? I'm sure. I've always done better on my own, anyhow. Listen, I'm not much for goodbyes. Tell the others for me. Sure. You take care of yourself, Molly. You too, Lee. Now that was an awkward hug. And you be sure to take care of that little girl. You know she thinks the world of you. Good luck. Ain't nothing to do with luck. I still think she should come with us. She has quickly become one of my favorite characters so far. Even better than Carly. Not that Carly was an excellent character or anything like that, I just thought she was nice to have around. She looks kind of funny. Hey, sweet pea. Kenny's working on the boat. I know. What are we going to do after he fixes it? Where will we go? Someplace else, wherever Kenny says. Someplace else. Someplace else. Someplace better. Clem, honey, what's wrong? Is Ben going to be okay? He doesn't seem the same since he got back. He's been through a lot, it's his own fault. Ben's a good kid. I think he's just feeling guilty about some of the decisions he's made. It's getting a feeling like he's a burden on the rest of us. Before we leave tomorrow, will we have time to look for my parents? Yes, lie. No, let it go. There may not be time. I'd like to, Clem, but I don't think we'll have time. We really shouldn't stay here any longer. It's not safe. <laughs> I wasn't going to lie to her. Don't cry. Reach out. Reach out. <laughs> That's an awkward moment. <laughs> that really was an awkward moment. Uh, chit up, kiddo, and I'll, uh, I'll see you in the morning. Take care. Clementine? Clementine? How do you fall asleep with his arm still folded? That's, a, that's impressive. Ah, oh, she's run off with someone. Didn't I teach her about pedophiles? Actually, no, I didn't. Shit, this is my fault then. Oh, where the hell is everybody? Clementine? Clementine! Oh god. Her hat. How do you sleep through everyone being kidnapped? I mean, I know he's probably tired after everything, but that's that's something else. Oh shit. What the hell is going on here? I get the feeling they decided to leave Lee behind. Or else something bad happened. Oh fuck! He didn't bite me, did he? I don't think he did. Oh, Jesus, that was a close one. No. 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 Fuck. Lee? Lee? You out here? Lee? Fuck. 
Are you crazy? What are you doing out here? It ain't safe. Lee, where's Clementine? Shit, I've She's been not bitten. In her room. Vernon ain't in the house either. What the hell is going on? Whose blood is that? It's mine. Oh my god. No way. No. No fucking way. There's no time to worry about me. Clementine's gone. There's no chance she just wandered off on her own? No. No way. Then who the hell took her? I don't know. Last night Vernon came to me and offered to take her with him. He said she'd be better off. Son of a bitch. I knew we couldn't trust that fucker. Wherever she is, I have to find her. Okay. What do you need from us? I'll go alone. I don't know what to do. I need to help finding her. Clementine's my responsibility. Can't ask any of you to risk your lives over this. This is something I have to do alone. We're all responsible for Clementine. And in your condition, you may not make it to her in time. She needs our help. All of our help. Damn right. We can't let you do this alone. So that's settled then. We'll look for Clementine together. Hell yeah. What are we waiting for? Thanks, you guys. I appreciate it. Really. Kenny, brother, don't let me down. Lee, man. You know I care about Clementine. And I am a Christian man. And I keep asking myself... If this was me, asking you for help, asking you to put your life on the line, would you be there for me? Because there have been plenty of times when you ain't been. Clementine is my family. Kenny, I need you. Kenny, man, I'm begging you here. I can't do this alone. I need your help, please. You might not have been keeping score, Lee, but I have. And you've been looking out for yourself more often than your friends. Well, maybe that's a good thing. Because you're on your own on this one. What about you, Ben? I don't know. But whatever you think is best. It's up to you. Stay here with the boat. Clementine set up for you. Can't make that decision for you, Ben. You have to decide for yourself. You've been good to me, Lee. Even when it's not been easy. Whatever I can do to help, you can count on me. Okay, guys. We should go find Vernon. See if he took her. Let's head out. I'll get the boat out onto the river. Figure I can wait there until you get back. Or at least until nightfall. You're still gonna take me? Even Ben? Yeah. We'll figure out what to do about that when the time comes. Come on, guys. Let's go. Ah, oh, fuck it. I'm hoping Lee has some sort of immunity. He's got to. Otherwise, this is going to have a sad ending to, to episode 5. It really will. Maybe they've all just gone invisible. Looks like they got out of here in a hurry. Vernon! Get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here! All I want is the girl! Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt! Nothing but bitter disappointment. <sighs> I still can't believe Lee's been bit. I mean, there's still another episode to go, so I don't see how it could work. The herd from the tra the railroad tracks. Oh shit, there's an army of them. Clementine, 
Are you all right? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch! Oh yeah, you've taken her. Put Clementine back on. Where have you taken her? This is Vernon. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully. You're fucking dead. Please don't hurt her. Oh, shit. Well, everyone, that was it for The Walking Dead Episode 4. Thank you for joining me on it. I do love bringing these videos to you, particularly The Walking Dead. It's so good to do as well because they're brought, they're broken into, you know, episodic content, which means I can do them in between other series relatively easily. Please do give this video a like and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of it so far. As well as that, if you could let me know, um, now let me know. If this is your first time watching and you like what you see, if you could subscribe to me, it really does help my channel grow. And uh, just let me know what your favorite series is and everything so far, what your favorite character in The Walking Dead, the game, is so far. And um, and yeah, let me know what you think about Lee being bit, because I didn't see that didn't see that coming. I'm a bit pissed about it. Anyways, let's take a look at my sta stats. Did you kill the boy in the attic? 75% of players killed him. Hippocratic Oath. Did you lie or threaten Vernon? You and were rational and honest. Did you bring Clementine with you to Crawford? You and 77% of players brought her, and she showed off her gun skills. Uh, did you let Ben fall to his death? You and 64% of players pulled him up. And the bite reveal. Yes, I did. 80% did. Because we're just that honest. This, These little stats do give me faith in the world. Um, Alright, so who came with me? Alright, so it was possible to have had everyone. Um, <laughs> 6%. Alright, hang on. Let me just break this down. So then 13% had Omid, Lee, Kenny, and... Krista, you just have Ben and Lee. Alright, so I had almost all of them except for Kenny with me. Um, that makes me feel pretty damn shit, I'm not gonna lie. I like Kenny. Also, my dog is barking right now, sorry about that. Alright, so I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and let the uh, the credits roll. I tried to skip them there, and that's why I went quiet for a second, but... They seem to be completely unskippable, because usually they do a uh, next time on The Walking Dead kind of a thing. But hey, all of the names that you're seeing here are all people who are involved in bringing this game to you, so... I always like to leave the credits roll whenever I can, just because these people deserve it. Um, so, yes, thank you all. I'm over a thousand subscribers now. That's a milestone for me. The only problem I have with hitting a thousand subscribers is that my next target is now 2,000 subscribers, and that's going to take me another while. But uh, I got to this point so far because of everyone's support and all your nice comments and your regular views and favorites and just your all-around support, which was absolutely fantastic. It's still a bit surreal to me. I've been doing this for just over a year now. And um, it does feel strange knowing that there's people who look forward to seeing the next video that I throw up there and who watch my videos regularly. So I just want to thank you all. I really can never thank you all enough. And um, I'm going to be doing this forever. Or at least until my laptop dies. And even then afterwards, I'll try and get it back up again. But uh, I don't ever want to stop doing these videos, so um, at, the for, at the very least for the next couple of years. Uh, ideally, I would love to someday do it as a full-time money earner, but um, we shall see. We shall see what life has in store for me. Also, just so you know, as a little bit of a side note, I did this as a marathon. I actually sat down and did this entire episode in the one go. Uh, I didn't break it down into any pieces or anything like that. This was, Jesus, I'd say it was about two hours ago I started. Yeah, it was about eight o'clock when I started. It's now about half ten. I don't know, thereabouts. So, um, yeah, this was a marathon, but I wanted to get this to you guys as fast as possible. Because um, you guys are committed to me as fans, so I want to be committed to you as a live commentator. So thank you all again for watching. I love you all, you handsome bastards.